Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, it's time for another really long workout. Again, I do love these long workouts because we're gonna do a little cardio, a little resistance training, and I think a combination of those things is a great way to sculpt the body, to burn body fat. What I don't want you to do is get too caught up with how many calories did I burn in today's workout? It matters, but I think what matters more is that you are moving your body, you're being healthy, you're focusing on taking control into your hands and making sure that you do the very best thing for your body, right? It's not just about how skinny you can be. It's nice to be lean, it's nice to be fit, but I think what's more important is are you healthy? Are you balanced? Do you love yourself? Do you love your body? And if you do, then it's working to make it more healthy. So that's what I hope for you for today's workout. Let's push our bodies hard so that we can feel alive, so we can recognize and celebrate what they can do, not to punish ourselves for what we ate the night before. All right, are you with me? Let's move daily. Hey everyone, it's Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness, and on this channel, we are all about doing fitness, wellness, and nutrition in a way that's sustainable for the long haul, as I said at the very beginning. So if you are interested in subscribing and be a part of this community, make sure that you do that in the button below. All right, we are doing this today. This is what you'll need for equipment. Grab some dumbbells, grab a skipping rope, grab your water and a towel, and we're gonna get started. All right, a good, hearty, long workout involving resistance training and some cardio. We'll do a lot of skipping today. If you don't have a rope, that's okay. You can do just pretend skipping or some high knees, that's fine. But incidentally, all of those things that I just mentioned can be ordered right in the show notes below. So if you wanna take a look at that, the whole workout is also listed down below there as well. All right, I'm ready to get started. Let's do this. Okay, just starting in a little warm up mode. Grab your rope, let's get jumping. Ready? Here we go. Moving to a little squat just to start uh, warming up our legs in four, three, two, let's go. You know, at the beginning, it's always a little bit more rest than you need, but believe me, you're gonna appreciate that rest in the minutes to come. All right, straight up and down, reaching those hips back nice and far. Excellent. You want to get down right to 90 degrees there. Super low. We are going to be doing some low goblet squats coming up, so you want to warm those legs up really good. Now, 45 seconds, quite a bit longer uh, than 30, obviously, but it sure does add up, doesn't it? All right, in three, two, let's go back to skipping. Grab your rope. You hit some high knees just to increase my heart rate a bit there. You do whatever you like in four, three, two, let's go.
we are still coming back there. Doing some alternating side to side lunges here. Again, continuing to warm up. Get ready in four, three, two, all right, a lot to reach it side to side. I know I'm kind of far away from the camera right now. I just have it zoomed in, so if I go too close, you can't see my feet. So I will switch it as soon as I'm done and warm up here. Okay, so you're wondering. Good, over half. Reach those hips back. Getting that groin all warmed up here. Okay, we're gonna do one more set of skips, one more set of squats, and then we'll get started. All right, last five seconds. And grab your rope. In four, three, two, let's go. Get those knees tracking over the toes in three, two, and down. All right, squeeze glute to the top. Knock this out here. All right, good. So we're basically gonna be doing a full body resistance workout with cardio in between. So we're hitting everything. We got lots planned for your back, shoulders, chest, arms, legs, I mean abs, pretty much everything, All right? This is like the kitchen soup of workouts today. All right, last eight seconds. In four, three, two, all right. Grab some water, grab your dumbbells, make sure they're set and ready to go, and we'll be right back. All right, grab a heavy weight. We're starting with some goblet squats. Feet are gonna be shoulder width apart, shoulders back. We're going as low as you can with good form. Here we go. So I'm getting below 90 degrees here and pushing through the heels, squeezing glutes at top. All right, I'll just show a side view here, show you how low I'm getting. Low and press. Okay, this doesn't have to be fast. Now, if you can't get that low, really, it's okay. Go as low as you can with good form. You don't want to hurt yourself. Of course, you can eliminate the weight. You could also do this from the side of a bench or a couch if you wanted, and just sit down and stand back up. That's kind of a more simple version of the squat there, but it's good to practice that method as well. One more. All right, a little break here. Grab your other heavy weight, move it into some deadlifts. Feet are shoulder width apart, shoulders back, we're hinging forward at the waist. And here we go. Reach your hips back, power them forward. All right. Remember that your whole abdominal wall is contracted now. You're not letting that go. Keep it nice and tight. Reach hips back. Squeeze at the top. That's it. Halfway through this. You're leading down with your chest so that your back stays flat. Hitting some front lunges coming up and then a little cardio move. Okay, rest there. 
So front lunges, we're alternating. All right, which lead leg goes forward. I'm gonna keep my heavy weights in my hand. Give myself a good blast here in three, two, let's go. Drop that back knee, push straight up. It, you're halfway through. Nice and controlled on this. Pushing straight up and back. Okay, you don't want that front knee to come flying over your toe. So you've got to drop that back knee and keep your upper body upright. All right, set those down. We will be repeating that whole circuit, but let's hit a little cardio. A little predator jack right here in between. Modify that right here without the impact. All right, let's do it. As I was editing my last video, I realized in it that I, I clapped a lot. That was weird for me. I'm like, I don't normally like, oh, hey, let's go. But apparently I do do that. So I just did it again right now. Stop. All right. Let's jump this out here, halfway. Good, 10 seconds here. Ooh, that was loud. Three, two, and time. All right, shake it out, catch your breath. We're going back to that goblet. Get ready. Three, two, down she goes. If you need a longer break in between, just pause the video. I know this is a fast transition. Halfway. Make sure those knees aren't snapping together here. Low, low, and press. Good. You should feel those glutes activated when you get down that low. At least time, put your mind in those muscles. Think about it, pushing your body back up. Deadlifts. I'm gonna stand sideways to just show my, how far hips have to go back. Okay, ready? And rock it. Reach. Hinging in half here. That's it. Pick up your pace a bit if you can. Quads. Okay, set those 
down, back to the predators. Shake it up. All right, in four, three, two. Let's get low, but come on. Zipped. Come on, halfway there, keep it going. Drop your butt. It's killing me too. All that lactic acid. Legs aren't used to it quite yet. Come on. All right, 10 seconds left. Go, go. Three, two, and time. Hard, okay. Water if you need. Last round here, then we move on. Ready, goblet. I said that quite loud. Goblet. Push through the heels, remember? It might be gross to say, but literally, your cheeks at the back should kind of be separating, and then you think of squeezing them back together. That does sound really bad, doesn't it? I hope no guys are listening to that. Okay. In three, two, and time. Whew. It's easy to identify that muscle there when you have a band on, so I recommend using those. Ready? Here we go. Especially if you can't articulate which muscle you're supposed to be using. Those bands should put tension on and drive that muscle to activate. Pull those hips in. All right, front lunges coming up. Then one more cardio and then a little break before we move on. Get ready. Alternating. Let's go. It was hard. 
Grab some water, we're moving on to back and biceps. Okay, back and biceps, find a bench, find a couch. You can do this from the ground. We're doing a one arm row, one arm is up, legs are wide, and we're rowing to the hip. Ready? Here we go. We're gonna switch it halfway here. So it'll take 22 and a half seconds per side. I'll call it halfway here. All right, switch sides here and row. Good, last five seconds. Pull it up. All right, let's come to standing. I'm grabbing heavy weights. We're gonna do a pinwheel curl. We're coming up in the front and alternating for 45 seconds. Ready, knees are soft, shoulders back, and curl it up here. Good. Halfway. Good. In four, three, two, and time. Set those weights down. All right, you're moving to a wide bent over row. So you're gonna hinge forward at the waist, pull it wide like that. I'm gonna go a little lighter, just because it is 45 seconds. Ready, and pull it out right there. Okay, I'm just kind of showing you the side view here to see how high the elbows come. Working a little bit of back, but a little bit of rear delt here as well. Keep your body nice and tight, right? All right, already, I totally feel it. I'm glad that I went as light as I did. That's it. You're gonna move to some alternating donkey tabletop kicks at the bottom here just to get heart rates up. Okay, as our cardio in between. In three, two, and time. All right, so down in this Tabletop position here for alternating kicks here. You can add a little hop here to up the ante, which I'll be doing. All right, get ready. And here we go up, switch up, switch up. Good. Keep it going. Get a good spring off that toe. But come down too. Ten seconds, keep going. Holy, this is hard on the shoulders. Okay. 
good. Into that pinwheel curl. It's hard. Okay, knees are soft, shoulders back. Ready? And curl. Ooh, biceps are on fire right now. Feels good. Make sure you're not swinging here. Just set it at the bottom. Halfway. Move into the rear delt row coming up. Or a wide bent over row. And the same thing there. In five, four, three, two, and time. Okay. Switching weights here. We're hinging forward at the waist, keeping elbows super wide on this guy. Get ready. In four, three, two, and pull. Pull. That's it, 90 degrees. Really concentrate on that. This would be a great place to have a little mirror so you can see how high you're getting. And also, you don't want to pull your arms back this way, okay? A lot of people tend to let that elbow collapse in. So you can use your bigger back muscles to pull this up. Try not to do that, keep them out to the side. Almost there. All right, set those down. Let's stretch it out for a second. Going back into that tabletop, tabletop donkey. Whew. Get ready. Three, two, here we go. Up. tricky but you don't want to bring your palm to your chest pull it up so you can flex the peak of your bicep there good 10 seconds left in four three Two and time. 
Good, set those down. Stretch it out for a second if you need. All right, wide row. Ready, start. triceps. Ready? Here we go. You come wide and press. Yeah, see these are too light. But good thing it's a high rep range. Maybe we'll burn them out here. Press. All right. Flex and press at the top. Really squeeze at the top. Straight arm. Actually, I'm not regretting these now. This is getting heavy. Burn. And up. Moving to chest flies next, so stay down here again. And then we'll move to our cardio that is also down here. Good, five more seconds here. Oh, that really burns now. No, I'm happy with that weight. Okay, chest flies are rounded. Right, your rounded arms are coming out, out in a rounded fashion, then squeezing together over the chest. All right, keep those arms rounded like you're hugging a tree. Here we go. So you're down, two, up, one, one, two, squeeze. One, two, squeeze. Don't bend the elbows, you're rounded there, okay? One, two, squeeze. And try to just kind of brush the floor. You don't want to rest down there. Just brush it with the back of your triceps there. That's good. One, two, together. All right, 10 seconds here. Moving 
Swing to mountain climbers coming up. Last one. All right, flip it over. Very good, stay grip. Not, okay, mountain climbers. Woo, arms are feeling that, that's good. Let's move into 45 seconds, it's gonna be work. Ready, and go. But we gotta get our heart rates up because we've been lying down on the job for the last three minutes. All right, come on, kick these out nice and fast for ya. Let's go, let's go. Anyone else have a very sloshy stomach right now from all the water and coffee? I mean, for sure. A little faster. Come on, you only have 15 seconds. Then you get a break for three minutes. Move, 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 move. In five, four, three, two, and flip. Whew, that was good. Okay, back to your single side presses. My son, I'm trying to avoid the sun. Who in the winter ever says that, but makes for a very bad video. Ready? Go, single side, up, down, and press. Make sure your wrists stay locked and neutral on this, okay? You don't want to bend your wrist like that. Keep it up in the same position as your forearm. So it should be totally straight. Take a look up there. If you need to adjust, please don't adjust when the weights are in the air, okay? Ooh. Yeah, this is compounding now. That's good. All right, that's it right there. Good. Back to that tape press. I'm gonna go a little bit lighter just because arms are feeling it already. You do whatever you like. Get ready in four, three, two, here we go. And press. Good. Oh, front shoulders too. Hey, a little bit. Burn. Brutal. Flex to the top, remember? And you're not resting it on your chest, so you can just tap the top and press up. Elbows stay super wide, wide and flex. All right, this is a tricky one for some people to get too. Take it nice and slow, go light at first till you have the action. All right, rest. Moving into the um, chest fly. Rounded arms. Get ready in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Open and squeeze. Boom. Flex the chest at the top. Open. You should feel the chest expand right there, and then you're squeezing it at the top, okay? Actually, Mentally, put your mind in those pectoral minor muscles there and you're pulling the weight back up with that little tiny muscle that attaches from your chest onto your arm, okay? And pull, good, 15 seconds left. Almost there, in three, two, and time. Okay, back to your climbers. Flip it. Okay, shake those wrists out of it. Mountain climbers in three, two, and start. Thumb is down, nice neutral neck here. Good, you're halfway. Pick up your pace, come on. What's another 10 seconds? You got this, well, it's not 10 yet, but it will be in three, two, and now it's 10 more, come on. Let's go, let's go. Push, 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 push. Oh, holy. 
shoulders mostly for me on that guy. That is hard. All right, last round. Lie down, grab your weights, single side chest. Ready, start. You wanna control that down too, okay? Don't just let it plop and hit the ground. You control it, you're working more of that eccentric phase as well. That down phase. Pushing. You have 15 seconds left. All right, in five, four, three, two, and time. Oh, brutal, heavy. Okay, set those aside. Let's go into that tricep. Take press. In four, three, Two, and start. Flex, wide and flex. Holy Hannah, 20 seconds left. Arms are getting sore. We're gonna finish off with a shoulder and ab circuit. That is it, and then you're done this workout. So let's keep pressing. Stay with it. Okay, good. Last mountain climbers. Nope, stay down here. You've got those chest flies. Sorry guys, too good to be true. All right, get ready. Arms up. And open. Squeeze at the top. Stick your chest out at the bottom. Lift it up and then push it together. Really focus on that flexing. Interesting when you actually put your mind in the muscle, how you can really activate that specific area of your chest, right? Isolating it with your mind. It's mind control. <laughs> okay, last mountain climbers. Let's really get aggressive with these. Knock them out. If it's your last one, may as well. Get ready. Holy. Start with skipping for our cardio, and then we're moving to some shoulders and abs, and we're gonna finish this off strong. Get ready. Here we go.
Arnold Press is here. Grab your dumbbells. Okay, knees are soft. We're pressing up to the ceiling. Here and there. I should have grabbed the fives. What was I thinking? My shoulders are still so sore from that last round. Okay, let's go. Good, bring the arms in, close together. Press and face them away. Halfway. Five seconds left. In four, three, two, and time. All right, let's go to an ab on your back here. We're gonna do a straddle crunch. Lying down, let your legs collapse to the side, feet together. We're crunching right in the middle here. Sorry, this is a bad angle here. Here we go, right there, and press. Now you feel this in your neck a bit, feel free to put a hand behind there to support your neck. Good. Keep low to the body and aim to take your chest away from you towards the other wall there. Okay, we're not aiming for the ceiling on this one, we're going across the body. Good, seven seconds here. All right, standing up for another shoulder. So grab your weights, we're gonna do a palms up front raise. Knees are soft, palms face the ceiling. We're coming up and squeezing together at the front. Ready? Here we go, up. Stick your chest out and up. A slight bringing the Weights together in the center just so you can get that good flex in the chest and front shoulder area. Okay, you're halfway. Good. Don't let it swing at the bottom either, right? You're just letting it come down exactly where it would. Start in four, three, two, and time. Let's go back to our skipping. Grab your rope. <clears throat> Switch your skips if you want. I might try a little jumping jack skip right now. In three, two, let's go. So wide out, wide and narrow. Sometimes it just gets you. Here, knees are soft. Bring that pelvis under so you're not arching. Oh, goodness. Burn. 15 seconds. Let's go down to that ab. 
Again, sorry for the angle. I don't want to switch the camera now. But hopefully you can see what I'm doing here if I'm back far enough. Feet together, knees out, and we're crunching down. Here we go. Focus on that flexing of those abs there. Keep it going, almost there, last 15 seconds. That's it in five, four, three, two, and time. All right, into that front raise. Stand tall, keep that knee soft, abs engaged, shoulders back, ready, and up. Remember, you're slightly bringing it together in the center. Palms stay up though. You want to work those front shoulders. Okay, not medial delts if you turn it in. Pull up, good. Really a big difference depending on how you hold your wrist, right? You can really alter that. Palms up, palms facing, and palms down. It's gonna target a different part of your delts. Today's workout, we are palms up. All right, your last seven seconds here. And rest, good. Do it. Quick sip of water, VCAA. Ready? Start. Batman. That gets your shoulders just like flex, right? Okay, Arnold presses in four, three, two, here we go. Halfway through, just keep it nice and fluid now, okay? I know you're tired, you're almost done. This is where we progressively overload the muscle and shift and change and grow, okay? Keep going, 10 seconds, mm. push. All right, time, good, down to those abs. On your back. Get ready and crunch. Reach through. Good, you're halfway. In five, four, three, two, and time. All right, front raises. Let's do it. Okay, 
knees soft, shoulders back, abs tight. Deep breath, palms up. Here we go, up and down. Remember, no swinging on this last one here, okay? If you're not lifting super heavy, you can pick up your pace. Burn out the shoulders on this last one here. That's it, almost there everyone. You've done a great job today. I'm not gonna do a final stretch, just so I don't make this video longer, but if you wanna hit a final stretch, make sure you do that, okay? Cool down, stretch those muscles out is a good idea. All right, that's it. Good job, everyone. Well, didn't we just kill that workout? Is everyone feeling a good pump? Got a good pump going on, it felt great. I love doing that little cardio hit in between too because hey, get the heart rate up, do some resistance training, build some muscles. That's a great way for me to work out. I hope that you enjoyed this workout too. Hey, if you did and you liked it, make sure that you give this a thumbs up, just smash that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure that you do because these workouts come into your inbox every Wednesday, Saturday, and sometimes, sometimes, there's a bonus video like we did the other day just because I have the time to do it. All right, if you like this video and want something else exactly like it, go ahead and click or tap the screen right here or right there as well, and you can try one of those workouts. All right, folks, go and move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition.